Alright, hey everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to anti-decrypt your game. Now let me see here. Uh, I tried to do it with this, I failed horribly. So, uh, let's see. Uh, you know what, just to save my sanity, I'm gonna put it in here as well, because, you know, why not? Here's this uh, spoopy tutorial game that I made an age and a half ago that I have not finished or done anything else with in ever. So I figured, you know what, it'd make a good example. Dude. So, we're going to compress the game data like we would normally. Screw you, RTV. Take too long. Wait for it to finish. Bing! Now then, we need to go into documents, RPG Maker, Spoopy. Whoops, too far. Spoopy! So spoopy. And uh, I'm going to have it go into for RPG Maker. And I'm going to put it into. Actually, I'll put it into the entity crypt file. Okay. Which means it should be over here. Yes. Perfect. Now, the instructions that I got, apparently, uh, when I downloaded the RAR file, was in, according to Google Translate, Indonesian. Unfortunately, I cannot read it even Ro in Romanized, so I have no idea what most of this said, except for a few choice words. Well, quite a few choice words, but most of it was the words in between, I do not understand. So, after putting it into Google Translate, I had a more reasonable instructions to follow that my brain could comprehend. Remember to learn another language, kids! It helps! <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, and I don't mean that they should learn English. I mean, like, if you only speak English, learn another language. It'll save you a bunch of trouble. Eventually. Like math. Never forget math. Anyway. Uh, once the game is extracted, we're going to go... I'm going to go back up here. And we're going to take these files, and I'm going to copy them into Spoop. Go in here. And here they are. Of course, for some reason, it looks like this, but okay. Now, first thing, we're gonna, as you can see, the game runs on its own already. So, what we gotta do is, we gotta run the decryptor. Takes a little bit. Encrypt. Because, you know, why not? And then we're gonna select the... What? going to select the, oh, the RGSS encrypted file. Open. And you can add a splash screen if you want. I don't have a splash screen, so... And... Oh, whoops, almost exited out. And then we're going to hit start. And I am not putting in a password. Because, A, I'm lazy. A sad but true fact. And B, I have a poor memory. Another very sad but true fact. So, I don't want to deal with having to remember a password. So, okay. I love that noise. It's so sweet. That's, I guess, the word for done. Click, click. We have a launcher data. And, you know, as you can see here, everything's been changed. Well, yeah, it's changed because it's a few minutes later. Anyway, we can try to run the game from here, and it'll fail the load archive because it's encrypted. The game can no longer read it on its own, so you have to run it from the R launcher. Click, click. Wait for it to load up. Takes a little bit. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Yay! Click. And yeah, now you can run it! Woo! Okay, that's annoying. I'm going back in here. Ha. Ah, peace and quiet. 
So, yeah, that's how you in how you anti decrypt your stuff. And I came across this when I was creeping on Pink Yubo's blog that she had reblogged it from the wonderful Draxicore. Unfortunately, when I clicked on this, this no longer existed. So I figured I would make this so that people would have a visual representation of what the heck to do. And of course, this lovely little program is made by Kevin Blaze Coolers. It seems like they haven't made a post since 2013 in December, a couple years ago. I hope they're doing okay, because you know what? Thank them very much for doing this, because the decryptor, the RGSS, uh, the RGG decryptor, uh, I'm gonna admit, I did use this once, but only because I got stuck in a game. I did not like being stuck. Stupid bookcases. But anyway, yeah. Don't don't use this. I just just don't just don't. If you want to use resources, either make something similar to it if you like it enough, or maybe ask the creator politely if you could use some of the resources they used. You know, it's just you know, be nice, be nice, because you know. Yeah, we're all on Tumblr, and as Pink Cubo said, it's not a safe space. Not a completely safe one. I think it is a safe space, but it's not a completely safe one, as she says. But that doesn't mean we can't try to be nice to each other. Because, you know, if you're going to work on a game and you want to keep something secret, because some things are not finished then decrypting a demo when it doesn't fully reflect how the final product is going to eventually be is not exactly fair to the creators or the people that are fans of the game because then you're putting undue expectations because you're putting out spoilers that may not even be in the final game or you know the creators might actually take it out because they don't want to end the game anymore because it takes the fun and surprise out of it. Especially since Tumblr seems to, most of us on Tumblr seem to be crazy about our horror games. So, you know, it would take the horror out of the horror if we know what we're expecting. Not to mention, it's just flat out rude. So, yeah. Don't. Okay? Just don't. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so thank you guys for tuning into this uh, tutorial, and I'll see you later, eventually. Bye!